today we are here with the award-winning MC Barber. Hey everyone, this is MC Barber. Uh, in this video, I have a long haircut for you. Uh, I will be doing a scissor over comb. Uh, I mean, uh, scissor over knuckles. Uh, some razor work. The gentleman here wants to keep his hair long. Uh, pretty much, he said he he wants to keep the length, but he wants to uh, shape it up, create a shape of a regular man's haircut. Right now, he almost has a. a uh, I would say a short bob. The hair is all the same length and it really doesn't look right. So first thing as usually I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, wet the hair slightly down, uh, comb it in the direction that it grows. I mean uh, comb it back. Then I'm going to section the hair. Uh, when you do uh, long hairstyles in general, you on, uh, always uh, do sectioning. Uh, it really makes your job a lot easier uh, than uh, just you know kind of guessing where you are. I always like to section the hair. Um, horseshoe shape is really uh, you know a classic uh, sectioning for long uh, hairstyle. Uh, it is very practical. As you get the top of the out of the way, you can now concentrate and work on the, uh, you know, the sides in the back. So, uh, really, there is few different ways uh, to do this haircut like this. Uh, basically, I'm gonna take the way out of the middle. I'm gonna try to keep the length as it is, and just. Uh, take uh, the length out of the basically I'm taking the bulk out of the hair and creating the layers I'm cutting everything at 90 degrees uh, that way the hair uh, the hair uh, becomes uh, pretty much the way it naturally grows uh, it's uh, even all around now uh, this type of haircuts uh, different stylists will start it, do it different. Uh, you can start it from one side and go all the way to the other side. Uh, you can do uh, palm to palm or uh, palm to knuckles. Uh, I like to start right from the center back from occipital bone area and go to my right side and then uh, I will switch my hand and I will go with my left hand the other way around. <coughs> excuse me now in your case if you are not able to use both hands it is okay uh, you can do this first uh, and you do a uh, scissor over knuckle you take about a quarter of an inch sections uh, as you can see or you know maybe half an inch sections and you follow that pattern all the way uh, to the temple area And then when you uh, go to the other side, you find your guide and you uh, will do actually palm to palm if you are using your uh, uh, right hand only. Now the reason I like to do this, uh, start from the center, uh, this is my personal preference. Uh, the benefits out of it for me personally are that I don't have to uh, keep the same shoulder up from one side all the way to the other side. Uh, because this can sometimes take actually time it could take five minutes to go from one side to another side so if you keep one shoulder up the whole time you can kind of feel it in your shoulder you feel that burn in your shoulder so this way you kind of alternate your shoulders also uh, if you do this with your right hand now once you finish this you go back find your guide in the occipital bone area and from there on you do a uh, uh, palm to palm instead of palm over knuckles and you will get uh, the same you know the same effect now uh, another way to do this haircut is really if you start from this area right from there you take uh, quarter inch sections 
and you cut palm to palm and you go all around the head until you reach the other side so that's one way but I personally don't like that method very much because it makes my right shoulder uh, up I have to keep it up the whole time until I go to the other side which really usually takes me about at least five minutes all right so as you see I took sections uh, and I went from the center to the all the way to the right side I switched my scissors now now I'm looking for my guide once I find my guide there once I see the guide there you go now I will just follow the guide all the way to the other side so it's pretty simple you just uh, actually you have to learn how to use your left hand this is one of the benefits of using both hands uh, and now as you can see I had my uh, left shoulder up when I was going to the right side now going this way my right short shoulder is up and my uh, left shoulder is actually down otherwise if you cannot do this which is really fine you can actually just do palm to palm and you will uh, do you'll have exactly the same uh, result with your shoulders and with the quality of the cut same thing uh, I really try to uh, concentrate a lot on my posture uh, I meet a lot of barbers and hairdressers especially people that are in the industry for a long time as myself for over 15 years and they all have upper body problems uh, shoulder problems and uh, wrist problems and so on and so forth so honestly uh, I try my best uh, to um, hold a proper posture and to uh, practice proper technique where uh, my limbs are constantly in a, as much as possible uh, a normal posture that I do not you know overextend over, over or you know over bend my whether it's wrist or you know my shoulder or my back or whatever it might be I try to keep it as much as possible in the natural position which really is important especially when you uh, you know when you do as much work as uh, I do or like if you are busy all day you know five days a week open close open to close so you know honestly even though if you are young now you don't feel it as the time goes by you will definitely start feeling the you know aches and pains and you want to uh, prolong your career as much as possible you know not just for the sake of money but for sake of your health and also uh, you know as you get older you you know this job becomes you know almost as a hobby you want to hang out with your uh, friends longtime clients you know so this is definitely something you should take in consideration one thing I have noticed that uh, my channel is viewed uh, a lot by new upcoming barbers it really makes me happy that uh, upcoming barbers are watching my channel uh, and one of the reasons is that it makes me happy is the fact that uh, uh, you know you uh, what I'm teaching you really is 100% by the book uh, so you should really uh, you know uh, pay attention to what I'm doing and uh, try your best to imitate and if you have any questions feel free to post your questions uh, down below I try to reply to most of the questions most of the time but as these days I'm extremely busy really with uh, uh, training for the world competition and work uh, so it's kind of you know I, I don't get to upload as much as I was doing earlier but after September I'll get back to really my regular schedule and try to be more active on my channel so once I cut the sides, uh, I go over with a razor as you saw me. Uh, I kind of take some bulk out, uh, create some texture and movement with a razor. And uh, now I move uh, to the top. Uh, now I'm doing a point cutting here. Uh, I'm not going to take too much of the top. I'm really concentrating more on the center. Uh, and I'm gonna do a uh, point cutting here or notching uh, depends where you're from and how you call it different people call it different names 
But honestly, at the end of the day, it's the same result, whether you call it point cutting or notching. I call it notching. So there, there it is. Um, and uh, by the end of the year, I hope that I will have uh, really my whole system, which is consisted of uh, 40 something different techniques from blow drying, styling, razor cutting, scissor cutting, clipper cutting. Uh, there will be instructional videos that uh, you will be able to actually log into my website and uh, watch step by step and learn how to execute all these techniques. So uh, if you like my work, please don't forget to subscribe uh, and uh, put a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. Uh, my Instagram is the MC Barber, which is T H E M C Barber, and my Facebook is MC Barber. My uh, website is mcbarber.com, and uh, through my website you can go through all my social media. Uh, feel free to uh, post any comments or suggestions. I really would appreciate it. Uh, uh, and uh, as for the workshops, I get calls all the time for workshops. Right now, I don't have any workshops scheduled other than uh, private classes that I do on Sundays uh, from 9 to 12. And uh, they are usually, as I say, on Sunday. And... Uh, the training is basically uh, based on whatever the uh, student wants, whether it's scissor work or razor work or blow drying styling. Um, one a couple of things that we really lack in our industry these days is the blow drying styling, uh, which really is now my expertise. I have uh, taken over uh, at least 50 classes on blow drying and styling especially since the world competition is done on uh, you know mannequins and really most of it is just the blow drying and styling honestly i am very honored to be the only uh, member from united states in the world competition in men's division this year that will happen in uh, paris france so uh wish me well i hope i do well uh, really it's it's a great competition it's about 60 countries participating uh, some countries have even uh, two teams, like Italy, for example, they usually come with about 70 people. Uh, Puerto Rico is another great country, they have two teams as well. I was fortunate enough this past week to go to Puerto Rico and train with the Puerto Rican team, which was great. Uh, so it's great, really. I am very, very blessed person to be in this industry and to actually uh, been surrounded all my life with really great instructors such as Andre Turisi, uh, Peter Labella, Tito Tata and so on and so forth. He, uh, people that were uh, uh, US champions in the 70s and world champions in the 80s. <coughs> so here now I'm kind of uh, connecting the sides with the top. I'm doing backhand cutting technique and I'm almost kind of creating like it's connecting but with like uh, eternal layers. I'm not taking too much hair out but I am uh, creating some movement and internal layers and kind of connecting that uh, top with the sides. Now uh, just to kind of smooth it out a little bit and remove a little more weight and bulk and soften it down a little bit I'm going to use my straight edge razor. One of the reasons I love this razor uh, is really uh, just Really, I have actually a video on this razor. Uh, it's a review on the on this video. It's on my channel. Uh, search it up and look it out, and it will, uh, I basically explain why did I choose this razor over uh, other razors uh, to be my favorite razor and the razor that I sell on uh, eBay. But anyway, it's really a high end razor from Germany. It's stainless steel. Uh, it's made by United Salon Technology. The brand is Tondale. It's Tondale Sifter Style. 
it's a really great razor. Now uh, I always like to clean around the ears. Uh, you can do this with scissor over comb or clippers. I always choose to do the easier way. Honestly, I mean whatever haircut or style that I do, I always choose the easiest way to go about it. Even though sometimes the sound, certain techniques might be difficult. But you know what? As long as you get uh, the results you want uh, and there is an easier way, that's the way I would li uh, I like to go about. So regarding my uh, tools that I use. Uh, I get questions all the time. Uh, basically, uh, really, uh, I'm not sponsored by any tool company, so I really don't have a preference. I mean, uh, no, hold on, how should I say this? I don't represent any company, so I use tools from all across. Uh, I mean, I like Magic Wall Clip uh, for fading, I think it's a nice clipper, uh, it's cordless. It really does the job for me. Uh, as of right now, I really like my favorite uh, edger is the Andy's Slimline Pro. Even though we are find, having some uh, difficulties with the battery and the switch, but it really is a uh, if that is uh, if that issue is not big, that's a really nice edger. But that's why I keep two. So sometimes the turn on switch is kind of giving us a hard time. Uh, and uh, it really is not just my clipper, but we have like six of them in the barber shop. And we are all feeling, I mean, experiencing similar things. But anyway, it is pretty good edger. That's why you see it on my station. And for Osters, I use Octane, the heavy duty clipper, which is really nice. That is really nice clipper though. Uh, for long hair, I usually use vent brush. It's easier to uh, blow dry hair and it's faster. Uh, otherwise, for shorter hair, I use uh, a nine roll brush uh, by Wise Park. It's really nice. Uh, I think the the number is Timeline Pro. I think nine. But if you look for a blue one, that's the one, uh, and that's really nice brush. Uh, for my blow dryer, I usually have it on medium heat and medium air. And there it is, uh, you can see his length I kept. I created really nice uh, hairstyle. I kept his hair long, create a lot of texture, a lot of movement. And now uh, I'm gonna try some Hunt de Fuco product that they sent me. Uh, and uh, just let's see how it is. It has medium hold, but uh, really in the long hair like this, none of the, none of them uh, really will hold good. You have to set the roots of the hair in a direction that you want to create, of the style that you want to create, and then you just use product really more for definition than anything. Because when you have long hair, if the roots are not set in the right direction, uh, the product, the, the style will really not stay. Now, as you can see, I start really from the back and I go forward. Uh, that's where the hair is the heaviest, the thickest. Um, and I have all the products in my hands. I will start spreading it from there and go forward. And once I feel the product is kind of disappearing from my hands, I'll go from the front and kind of push it back and really style it in the style that I want.
and there it is the style is almost done uh please uh don't forget to subscribe once i reach uh, 100,000 subscribers i'm gonna have a live uh a two-hour class on YouTube where you will be able to ask any questions you would like uh, and uh, on any technique and I will answer uh, during the video so uh, please subscribe let's reach our goal at 100,000 subscribers and then we'll have the a live class uh, at, uh, at our YouTube channel uh, and we'll actually set up the time and date uh, once we reach our 100,000 100, subscribers, that way uh, maximum of people can benefit from the uh, live class. Alright guys, that's your finish end. Uh, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. mcbarber.com is my website. Uh, the MC Barber is my Instagram, which is T-H-E-M-C Barber. MC Barber is my Facebook. Thank you so much. Please put a thumbs up if you like my videos. Uh, comments and suggestions are always welcome. Uh, it is my pleasure to make these videos for you guys. Uh, thank you so much. Until next time, take care of yourself.